So I am very much on record as being a Cardano ADA fan. All right, I have been a Cardano fan for quite some time and continue to own it, continue to really believe in it. And I think long-term, it is absolutely going to be um, a blockchain and an, and, an, and an environment and ecosystem that's obviously here to stay, right? And I love what they're doing long-term and everything that they're doing. So this is not gonna be a really in-depth video, but just wanted to kind of just touch base and see and tell you a couple of things that I'm seeing. Number one, we all know that we're in the middle of a really, really nice broad market recovery. We've got this going on where effectively crypto is decoupled that's the word I'm using, is decoupled itself from the stock market. You can see that the stock market itself is down 243 plus percent on the Dow, NASDAQ down 57 respectively. Uh, so crypto for the last week or so plus or more has been kind of following and has been really in lockstep with, with, with stocks, right? And that's not happening now. You got a lot of things transpiring. Um, you know, you got Russia being cut off from bank banking uh, transactions and and all of the sanctions and everything going on over there. You've got the Russian people, not the military, not the government, um, making runs on banks and, and a lot of their money's flowing into crypto. Uh, Ukraine money flowing into crypto. Uh, you just got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of European money in general, I think, is going to crypto. But ultimately. Crypto itself is becoming a safe haven for, uh, for for money, if you will, all right? And so you've got a lot of retail confidence coming back right here. Look, the, the fear and greed index, we're running at a 51. So where does that bring us with Cardano? Cardano ADA is on a very bullish rally that's tr that has been triggered by the overall broad market recovery, okay? Uh, now, also, it has been extremely oversold due, due to the recent recession. So you got kind of, there's two factors here, all right, that are playing out related to Cardano, all right? And so if you look at it, Cardano itself right here right now is trading at 97 cents and change up 7.4. But you can see right here at 99, it, it almost got to a dollar. And it's that one dollar that is that emotional threshold we have to get over, all right? And which is why I want to make the video. I want to have this conversation with you and just tell you, hey, I'm here. I'm bullish, long-term, love Cardano ADA. And, and I just wanted to do my part to try to move the needle a little bit, you know, if I could, right? And so that's really what I care about is I want to see Cardano continue to succeed, continue to be there long-term. Um, I personally know of two or three very, very big Cardano ADA whales um, and that have been, that have owned it since, you know, a long time ago, uh, back when it was eight, nine, 10 cents plus. And I think that it will continue absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt to benefit from what we see, what we going on, what we see going on. But I think that it will, it needs to kind of get back to a bullish run, believe in it, um, money flow back into it. And how I always look at this is real simple, is that I love owning Ethereum, I love owning Cardano, I love owning Solana, um, Avalanche, Polkadot, I love owning blockchain-based uh, cryptos, all right? And because they're always going to be here, you're not, I mean, Ethereum is the 800-pound gorilla, but you always want, there's nothing wrong with owning the other, the other, the other ones on the block, which is why I... Literally, I made a pun there. I didn't even know it. I love owning. I love owning the other blockchains on the block. There you go. All right. So, drop in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. But this is looking good, and let's continue to see it gain some momentum. As always, I'll see you.